Allied drive towards the deep sea port of Cherbourg. Cutting off the German garrison in the peninsula, American troops take saint sauveur General Bradley's forces speed through the battered village towards the western coastline to isolate the tip of the peninsula. Airborne infantry divisions, battle-hardened in actions in North Africa, Sicily and Italy, are employed in this sector. Units of the Royal Navy provide an intense bombardment in support of British and Canadian forces putting the pressure on Rommel's divisions elsewhere. Royal Air Force medium bombers maintain their invaluable help, attacking marshalling yards packed with German troops and rolling stock. Here's where the rocket projector aircraft of the RAF load up. The rocket consists of a shell and a tube filled with cordite. The cordite is ignited by a fuse and the resultant flow of gas from the tail propels the rocket in the sighted direction. When inaccessible targets need attention, the RAF call in their flying artillery, in this case, the rocket-carrying typhoons. The rocket projectiles are loaded into the guide rails beneath the typhoon's wings. Into the leading edge is fitted the automatic camera, which will take some of the pictures we include in this newsreel. starts turning as the flying artillery goes into action. Kinville had just been under heavy German artillery fire when these pictures were taken. It's a coastal village some 15 miles out of Cherbourg, a place upon which war has fallen heavily. Carentan, once a German stronghold, is now one of the places through which may be seen marching long lines of prisoners being passed back through the Allied positions. Installments of prisoners form part one in the Allied story of success. Part two will follow in our next.